right, guys, so this is part two of the uh, chair down trying to get to the uh, head gasket. So if you look down here, you'll actually have, we're trying to get that little coolant. Let me see if I can see it for you, if I can find it for you guys. See that little red cap right there? So that, we're trying to release all the coolant. So that red valve right there, if you see right there on that red knob, there is a place for you to stick a screwdriver in. And basically you turn that to the left, uh, counterclockwise, and the coolant will drip through this little tube right here. So instead of making a big old mess and having it drop everywhere, drop all over your frame, we're actually gonna take a 5 16th hose right here and I got a little zip tie at the end of it and we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna connect that and I'm gonna show you guys real quick what it looks like all right so that's where we're at once we got it connected so we got it right up in that little channel that little nipple that comes down so we got it right there now we're just gonna loosen this red cap turn the counterclockwise and then it is gonna drip through this hose line right here down into your bucket and that way it doesn't make a mess all over your frame and all over the place so i'm gonna get a bucket and then we're gonna start doing that and there you go so basically it's leaking do not forget to uh undo the uh radiator cap on top otherwise it won't leak it will hold the pressure so we're just gonna wait for this to stop leaking but there you go Okay, while that's still dripping, we're going to move up here to the top, and then we're going to start removing the uh, intake manifold along with the uh, gas line. So let's get on it.
All right, y'all, so here we go. This is where I got so far. So be careful when you're pulling out the uh, the intake. There is gas, and you are working with gas. That is the gas line right there. I disconnected that, and then you also have a gas line right on the side. Well, this is the fuel rail right here, so all of that's fuel. So be careful when you're taking it out. There is going to be fuel in the line. So uh, just be careful, don't tilt it over too much. Try to tilt it, get it back, and get it out. So I'm just gonna vacuum and clean up in here, right here, then I'm gonna cover all this up. So here we go over top of the engine. We got leaves and a little bit of gas. What the hell did he right just? Here. Gonna clean all that up. So actually looking down in there, you can see the valve. The valve right there. It's another valve. kind of hard to focus but you guys get the uh, idea let me run it around this side you can see better right there looks like we already got a leave or something in there holy fuck So there we go right there. We're almost there. We are getting there. Definitely spilled some gas up in that side right there. All right, let me turn y'all back this way. To get a better view. Now, like I said, it's kind of hard to get this angle. Y'all are probably flipping around everywhere, so. All right, so there we go. So, let's see what else am I gonna do. I'm gonna disconnect these hoses right here. You can see down on the bottom, we're still dripping coolant. Still got a lot of coolant left in the lines. So we're probably gonna disconnect this uh, this wire right here for the coolant and the uh, thermostat housing. So we're gonna disconnect that. Gonna be careful with this pin. Probably gonna replace this whole thing. Um, I have no uh, drip from there or anything. Everything's fine with that right there. But um, yeah, so we're making progress slowly but surely. We're getting there. So let me cover all these up right here. And then I'll get back to you. series so uh did a little bit of work we're gonna do a little a little by little each day as it comes as i got work and stuff like that so i'm trying to do this on my basically my available time my free time after i'm done with work but nonetheless man we're gonna get this taken care of by tomorrow uh we should have everything off and the heads completely off so you guys stay tuned for tomorrow so i'm just real eager to get down to the bottom of this to see if these uh, mechanics actually quoted me correctly and said that uh, 
you know, it is a blown head gasket. So I want to see if they diagnosed it right, if they misdiagnosed it, if they just didn't want to tear it apart and their quick solution was, hey, buy a new engine, this and that. But nonetheless, man, I mean, I just want to see for myself. So uh, let me show you guys what I got done. Let me take you off the tripod. Okay, so here's where we're at right here. So we've got the uh, intake manifold uh, right here. So got this taken off. I did notice, well, I knew I had a problem with this. It's the Mishimoto catch can the, from the valve right here. It was, uh, it had some oil. They did send me out the new part. I just hadn't put it on because I just hadn't got around to dealing with the uh, truck yet. So uh, let me come back out this way or actually, so we've got oil all along the inside. I don't know if you guys can see that or not, but so we've got oil all along every single one. So where are we at right there? So we are going to be cleaning this out thoroughly um and then we're gonna take it to get ported so that way you know it gets a little bit more power and you know just gonna port it. it's gonna be a lot better so we got the uh passenger side valve cover we got the driver side valve cover no milkiness on either side so got everything labeled right here i'm in by no means a mechanic or claim to be one or pretend to be one so if you guys following along um, you guys do this at your own risk. I'm not responsible for any of that stuff. So we got the fuel rail line off, got the uh, fuel injectors. Uh, they don't look too bad, although number four looks pretty dirty. And this would be three, two. Let's see if I can get it to focus. And one. So this is five, six, seven, and eight. Yeah, so um, we're just doing this, um, you know, day by day. We're not rushing it. We're taking it slow. This already the second day of me on this project. Tomorrow, uh, we are going to be pulling the uh, harmonic balancer. So we're going to be getting everything off tomorrow. We're going to be changing out the uh, fuel injectors. Um, you know they just look a little bit dirty but so we're going to be changing that out if we're going to go that route but this video is just to determine whether or not i need a new engine because like i said these mechanics said that they diagnosed it with a blown head gasket so i just want to make sure you know that's exactly you know what we got to do and if not well we're buying a new engine so um tomorrow i plan on having the harmonic balancer off, the timing cover off. We're gonna pull the um, the cam phasers. We're gonna pull the cams out, and then we're gonna be looking down at the uh, pull the heads and taking a look at that gasket. So, nonetheless, if you guys haven't already, be sure to subscribe to the channel, turn on the bell notification, and smash that like button. It really helps your boy out. Until next time, it's your boy Coyote Mike.